Welcome back. Hey, if you watch my videos, you know I don't brand drop or do this, that, and the other. Hey guys, this is an informative video of something I have a whole lot of confidence in. And these jigs, I've been throwing them for six years, and I mean, they skip great. Everything about them is awesome. And I just wanna share with you a product that I believe in and I have a whole lot of confidence in. Hey everybody, Brian Hathcock, the Ooh Beer Fisherman. Guys, y'all watch my videos and you see me talking about my jigs, Chris Coyer jigs this, Chris Coyer jigs that. Guys, this is the man, Chris Coyer, owner of Local Lures right here in China Grove, North Carolina. We just take a lot of time uh, getting the colors right, putting the right back on one, mixing the colors properly, try to keep it real natural. And we hand tie them so they don't slide down when you skip them. Uh, there's a good hook in them and people mm -hmm. like them. People, must add hooks? Must add hooks, yeah. Nice. A big flipping hook and people like them. And I think it's the fishermen putting it in the right place and that's why they're successful. One thing I feel about this jig, guys, is when I set that hook on that old donkey, I feel like I'm gonna get that jig in the boat. It's gonna be about two weeks out, mid of June. If you were on Lake Norman, man, what are you picking up and throwing? Well, I think I would start with the one we call the Pirate. And, and it's basically just two shades of green pumpkin with some purple in the back. A friend of mine from Raleigh helped me develop this jig. And the first time it was used as, as a prototype, it won a college event on Lake Gaston. What I call the Money Crawl, which is just another blend of green pumpkin and brown. Again, real natural. Now the brown does have some orange specks in it. I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera or not. And it's got a little bit of light on the bottom because I actually found a crawfish up at uh, Lake Norman that washed up. And if you, when you catch crawfish or when they spit them up, that back part a lot of times is, is light in color. I don't wanna give away all my secrets, but it was light in color. So I kind of modeled that jig at it. It had, after it, it had a bunch of orange specks on it. And that's where it came to be. Uh, the reason it got named Money, we were fishing the CBC and I popped a three pounder over the side on it, which got us a check at that time. And that's where it got its name. I said, we're in the money now. And, and it's became that. Uh, there are some fishermen who call it red. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, it works too. It works there and it also works on the yak and chain. Man, awesome. Yes, yak and chain, I was gonna bring that up. Yak and chain, let's say you're on baiting next couple of weeks. Water's a little bit stained. You got about two and a half foot visibility. What do you pick up then? Well, anytime I'm on the yak and chain, I'm gonna throw the money crawl, uh, the money bait, money crawl, and the yak and crawl, which is this blend here. Again, it's, it's green pumpkins. It's got a couple shade, different shades of brown in it. And the back of it, if you can see on the camera, is orange. Uh, this is one of the first jigs that we tied. It also works at Lake Norman. As I just found out Saturday and Sunday, uh, the guys that won the high school event told me that this played a big part in their victory on it. So if you pick up a yak and crawl, don't be afraid to throw it pretty much anywhere. But those are two I'd have on bait. And again, just real, real natural colors with a little bit of orange in them. And it's funny, I, I flip that money crawl all the time into that grass. And it's something about with that brown and that contrast into that green grass in that midsummer. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, I get in there and I'm ready to yank them out, dude. I love it. That's pretty awesome. Chris, how, how do they get a hold of these things, man? Well, we do have a little page on Facebook uh, under Local Lures. You can go on there, like the page, and send us a message, and we'll get together. I'll, usually when I get somebody who's serious there, we get the messaging back and forth. We exchange phone numbers. Find out what you want, if you want to try one of these colors, or we... We tie pretty much, if you got a favorite jig, pretty much anything you want. Again, I like the head, the shape of the head. Uh, this is a 3 8 ounce and a half, if you can. It shows up on there, the size difference. But the head, when you put a trailer on it and the head being flat like that, or just a little bit of contour, it just really, really skips well. That's where I, uh, I've got my start with skipping jigs up at Lake Norman years and years ago. We've been doing this, or I've been doing this since 1989 and this is the best head i found i like the eye in it the only about the only modifications i would do is is this i separate the weed guard somewhat so it's wider and the you always hear that tip about bending that hook up just a little bit take some pliers and bend it up so it gets a little bit more of an angle a little bit more wider bite 
Other than that, put your favorite trailer on it and give it a give it a try. And I think you'll like the results. Well, Chris, thank you for spending the time with us today, my Not man. No problem. And y'all see problem. this look. I'm grabbing some of this money. <laughs>